Hello, Kules. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest update. We start with right back Sergio Nodes, as it has been reported that the Barcelona defender is refusing to leave amidst Manchester United interest. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, talking about this report, let me that Barcelona have ruled out the possible signing of Manchester United right back Diego Dalot. We are also going to be discussing on that. So, guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, give the video a like, and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Awesome. As per Mundo Deportivo, Sergio Des has gained the interest of Manchester United as the right back has started looking for potential suitors for himself as he sees that his services are not demanded anymore by FC Barcelona. The American joined Barca in the summer of 2020 after the sale of Nelson Semedo to Wolverhampton Wanderers who had previously occupied that role of right back at the club. The 21-year-old has seen you know, as the next big thing for Barcelona. However, the billing has faltered so far as the American has failed to impress any of his coaches while at the Camp Nou. It even seems as though Xavi Hernandez now prefers Ronald Araujo or Sergio Roberto at right back over Sergio Nodes. With a contract until 2025, Des has understood the message that Xavi and the club transmitted to him when he was completely left out from the squad list against Rayo Vallecano last Sunday. The right back feels pressured to accept an offer, but he remains firm in his idea of not moving because he trusts his quality to get a place in the eleven, and because he feels very comfortable personally in Barcelona. Everything indicates that a war of nerves is looming until the market closes, with Manchester United as the main club on the lookout. Baza hope that the Americans need to play regularly so as not to miss the World Cup in Qatar will make him end up leaving. Baza already have a list of names already to you know take over the spot at right back and will be looking to make the signing as soon as possible. Thomas Munier and Juan Foyt are the most likely candidates for the club. But until their sale can be finalized, bringing in a new right back could prove very tricky for Barcelona. The future of Sergio Nodes continues to hang in the air. Of course, at the moment when Xavi opted to, you know, not to include Sergio Nodes in the squad list to face Rayo Vallecano on Saturday, you know, that speaks a lot. You know, an indirect message telling the player that he is not needed anymore at Barcelona. So all this while we've been talking about reports of Barca looking for a new right back. You know, the other day we heard about a short list of five players that Barca have, you know, have made. You know, looking for a new right back among them, but so far no decision has been made regarding that. So Sergio Nodes is not likely to be part of Barca this season. Xavi have never really admired the player for whatever reason I don't know. Um, he does not fit into his system for what I understand. Last season when Xavi made his way as a new boss of Barcelona, it was very visible that Xavi was not really satisfied with Sergio Nodes' display on the pitch. And um, Des is not the kind of player that Xavi would like to have in his setup. And even opted to go for Ronald Arago against Rayo. Something that was not a good idea for me personally because Ronald Arago did not really do well at right back. If you put Ronald Arago at Classico, who can hold Vinicius Jr. very well, that's a good idea. But that does not necessarily mean Arago will be good at right back for all the other games. That is a mistake that Xavi did. But we need a new right back. We need a natural right back. We don't need a, a center back who will be playing right back. It makes no sense. And I was so happy when I talk about um, Jules Koundé, who have reportedly told Mani, um, Xavi his message very clear that he does not want to play as a right back this season because there have been a lot of rumors talking about a potential right back role for Jules Koundé. It's true that Jules Koundé can carry the ball forward. Jules Koundé is good at that. Jules Koundé can play full back. But that does not make him to lose his own natural position, right? He can play there once in a while when there's an emergency or there's an urgent need or maybe there's injury, whatever. But not like you start alternating him from his right back or from his, sorry, from his center back row to the right back row. And of course, I don't want Xavi to do that, make that kind of decision. So Barcelona are doing their almost best to see if they can bring in a natural right back. There have been some names on the list. Some are very, very shocking. Some are quite okay. 
you know but let's see who Barcelona finally ends up picking as their new right back this season of course the, that's the position that Barca have always looked to strengthen and hopefully they will look for a one right back not just a right back but a very quality right back at that as well as a left back um, talking about Marcos Alonso as he's closely um, joining Barca according to multiple reports so if all goes as planned then the summer transfer window will be a success then moving on to the next story of discussion as per Mundo Deportivo Diogo Dalot is not an option for FC Barcelona the right back was never considered as a club uh, has other options on the list Dalot was only offered to Barca during the Frankie de Jong operation Diogo Dalot in the recent reports had been reported widely as one of the potential signings for the Catalan club after they lost out on the signature of Cesar Aspilicueta from Chelsea. The club currently only has one natural right back in the form of Sejno Des. However, if reports are to be believed, Des does not have the confidence of head coach Xavi and you know the coach has told the club to look for options to sign at right back that suits his style of play. The report also stated that the club wants Des to be moved on if the player is not in Javi's plans. There haven't been any specific reports regarding the potential move for the Americans so far. Barca have struggled massively with the right back position ever since the departure of Danny Alves. You know, the club has already had a flurry of players in, the, in that position, with none of them having seemed a likely fit at the club. The likes of Villarreal, Joan Foy, Manchester United, Aaron Juan Bissaka, Borussia Dortmund, Thomas Munier and Bayer Leverkusen Jeremy Frimpo has been mentioned alongside Dalot. The Portuguese right back Dalot is said to feel very comfortable in Manchester United and has no intentions of leaving the club despite the interest from Barca. The most likely targets for Barcelona have been reported as Foyt and Munier. However, Munier could have the advantage over Foyt as the Argentina uh, player is highly rated by the yellow submarine. Diego Dalot of Manchester United have been one of the players that have been mentioned, you know, being included in the five man shot list, according to some reports. And Barcelona don't intend to have him whatsoever. And Barca are saying that it is not true that he's even considered as one of the options, according to reports that we have been getting lately. You know, Diego Dalot, of course, is not the kind of player that Barca wants. Um, Thomas Munier of Borussia Dortmund, and of course, um, the other guy at Villarreal are the players that Xavi prefers over the other players on that list. So let's see what happens in the coming weeks. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.